As a turf and ornamental pesticides applicator, you have a complex and important job. Pesticides must be properly applied to be effective and to prevent harm to humans and the environment. This video will explain key decisions you can make to protect Minnesota's environment, particularly pollinators. I'm Marla Spivak. I'm a professor in the Department of Entomology in the Bee Research Lab at the University of Minnesota. Pollinators, which are our bees and other insects that visit flowers and move pollen around, are the most important pollinators of our fruits and vegetables and other crops like coffee and almonds that are so nutritious and important to our diets. And there's many kinds of bees, but the one everybody thinks about are honeybees. So honeybees live in huge colonies, and they're both managed and wild, and they can be managed by beekeepers. Bees are very important for the health of Minnesota's ecosystem, agriculture, and economy, but they are facing many challenges. Less food and habitat, disease and pests, and exposure to pesticides all can threaten their survival. As a pesticide applicator, you have an important role to play in protecting bees from pesticides. Turf and ornamental pesticides application often occurs close to where pollinators live and find food. So it is important to know about common practices to protect pollinators. My name is Maggie Ryder. I'm the Extension Educator for Turf Grass at University of Minnesota Extension. When considering controlling pests in, in lawns and turf grass areas, it's important to use an integrated pest management approach. And, and key points of IPM are to know what pests that you have and have thresholds for them. Hello, my name is James Wolfen. I'm a Sustainable Land Care Manager at Metro Blooms. So it's important to remember that pesticides are just one tool in your toolbox, and I personally like to think of them as an absolute last resort. It's important to consider other integrated pest management strategies, even simple things like mowing or hand weeding. Selecting pest-resistant varieties of turf grass can potentially reduce the need to apply pesticides to a turf grass stand. Doing so can potentially reduce risk to pollinator populations. We encourage you to reach out to University Extension if you have any questions about IPM topics, such as selecting pest-resistant cultivars, identifying pests, or pest thresholds. Bees may be attracted to the flowers of weeds like clovers or dandelions, so you need to remove the flowers before you're applying different products. Um, and you can remove them by simply just mowing. Mowing flower heads is one of a variety of important practices to make sure bees are less likely to come in contact with pesticides. You can also leave a buffer between pesticide-treated areas and flower ornamentals and trees, or distance pollinators from pesticides based on the timing of your application. It's also important to remember things like pollinator foraging times. Most pollinators forage somewhere between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m., ideally when the sun is out. Also think of environmental conditions like wind. Try to make sure you apply your pesticides on a low wind day to reduce drift. Your choice of insecticide also can have a big impact on pollinators. Some insecticides are more toxic than others to pollinators. When using pesticides, try to reduce your use of broad-spectrum pesticides. When possible, try to use the most specific product you can. Doing so could potentially go a long way in protecting our important pollinator populations. When you're selecting different pesticides, of course, read the label. And, and a lot of labels for different products will have specific directions on um, protecting pollinators and applying them at certain times of day. Label language about pollinators is located in the environmental hazards and directions for use sections of the label and will vary depending on the product you are using. Increasingly, there are more hobby beekeepers in urban areas. It is an important courtesy to contact local beekeepers a day or two before a pesticide application so they can take action to protect their bees if needed. FieldCheck is a free website you can use to see if there are any beekeepers near your application location. To summarize, pollinators are a critical part of the environment and as applicators, you can help protect them. Use pesticides only when justified through IPM. Remember, bees are attracted to blooming plants, so when possible, Avoid direct application to flowering plants or drift onto flowers. Check the pesticide label for pollinator language and follow all label directions. Consider using less toxic insecticide and be sure to communicate with local beekeepers before a pesticide application. Managing landscapes is a difficult job, but be sure to remember that there are many resources out there to assist you. From your local extension agent to other local area experts, there's plenty of resources out there to help you figure out how to manage your landscape and potentially reduce risk to pollinators. Thank you.